Yo, what is going on guys? Got a video here today from Alpha Central titled Woman Breaks Down in Tears After Man Rejected Her on the First Date. And it's these kinds of videos that just prove that dating is a complete waste of time and money for a lot of men these days. Today's video was suggested to me by Matrix of Madness. I'm going to leave a link to both of their channels in the pinned comments. So make sure you go and subscribe to these guys. Don't forget to leave your own thoughts and comments and let's jump right into the video. Hi, what's your name? Why are you running away? What's your name? Oh, I have no name. You have no name? No, no. Oh, well, can you no, rate me I'm one more, to ten? Working, yeah, but, but what's your name? No, no, no. Oh. Okay. It's kind of frustrating when these women openly harass these men who are just trying to be left alone. And it's for such a superficial reason as to rate her looks. If a man did that, he'd be arrested. And that's the best case scenario. What are you doing here? Have you anyone since me? You like stuttered a little bit when you said no. I really have. You promise? God, I love you. What? It's comforting to know that there are more and more men who are respecting themselves and not getting involved with the damaged goods from the aging club scene. Would you f me? No. Why? Twitter. Am I ugly? No, just not my type. What's your type? Latinas. I am Latina. He's wishing he said something, anything but that. She'll open a whole investigation into why he said no to her now. The response is rather simple. No, I will not because I have too much self-respect for myself to sully it on someone who's trying to embarrass me on TikTok. I brought that to the family tonight! We do it too. We do it too. Okay, no. I'm recording you. Get out of here! Record her. I am recording her. Get out of here! Goodness sakes. Get out of here! Sorry if this caused some ears to bleed, guys. You know, there was a time when acting like this brought shame on your family, but we live in modern times where behavior like this is rather tame in comparison to what these grown children get away with. I just got this new car, but I think there's something wrong with it. Every time I open the door, it makes a really weird noise. Like, listen. Out, so that's why you didn't get laid last night, and then you want to sit here and say, oh, we're going to dinner? dinner when I close the door, there's just no more noise. Let's see if it does it again, just for the camera. You're so annoying. You're so annoying, and you never... Your problem is accountability, just like your father. But, like, I, I don't know. It's, it's a nice car, but... What's wrong? A modern woman will talk endlessly about the entire planet not being accountable for anything, yet she will still never take any accountability for her own behavior. I see myself as the god emperor of all that I survey. I am the god emperor of Santa Barbara. Is that true? It's your opinion. Don't shut down. Don't be a brat. Whoa, and shut, down. shut down, and brat. Oh, asked, wow. Brat and shutting down. Is it, it sounds true? Little... Ma'am, please, the grown ups are talking. Please stop being rude and interrupting this man as he's trying to make his point. Is it true that he I am the sec. god emperor of Santa today? Barbara if I see myself as that? Yes. No. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. All right. Because that's something that you say. Whatever you say, you're entitled to your opinion, but that doesn't mean it's true. Like, yeah, that's right. what you think. It doesn't mean it's true. You're entitled to your right. opinion, but it doesn't mean it's true. So if I think that true. I'm a nine and you don't think that it's true, then that's fine, but I think that I'm a nine. The question referred to is how you see yourself. What would you rate yourself? Break it down. Dissect it. That's what it means. <laughs> that's what we're doing right now. We're breaking it down <laughs> and dissecting it. And so that we're asking you, if you're a nine and nobody else is writing themselves as a nine, are you delusional? Am I delusional? Let's ask the table. Am Delusional for thinking that I'm nine. Like you is gonna lie. The table was real quiet on that one. What these women will never understand is that the number question isn't supposed to measure their attractiveness as a person. It's meant to judge a woman's humility against her sense of delusion. And in this woman's case, humility isn't in her vocabulary. We're in the home of rich men now. We're in Mayfair. Yes, this is an incredibly smart idea. Just go ahead and run into traffic in hopes of finding a husband. This is what a smart, emotionally stable person would do. Excuse me, are you guys rich and looking for a wife at all? I'm already married. Oh, 
Oh, can you have like another wife or? Four, four is the limit. Oh no, that's such a shame. You've got a very nice car though. <laughs> Oh, that was brilliant. Oh my God, that's such a shame. He literally has a G-Wagon, my dream car. What's a girl got to do to get a G-Wagon around here? I'm not sure what it takes to get a G-Wagon, but I'm fairly certain dressing modestly and not having a massive chest tattoo are part of the minimum requirements. I almost puked, but let me stay focused. Yes, this is indeed a woman eating a raw steak. I don't know what's worse, the fact that she's probably going to get some sort of parasite, or the fact that she finds this content to be engaging in any sort of way. What would y'all rate yourselves tonight? 10, all my girls are 10. Are you a 10? How would you rate yourself? Are you a 10? 10. And if people get a 360 the outfits? No, 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 no. Should we get the $100? Not on camera, they let me on camera. You it's just threw like two oh, well. seconds ago. Like, bah, bah, bah. Yeah. You 360, what would you rate yourself? I'd say I'm a seven. Good job. I would say y'all seven too. Like, y'all valid. You said seven? What yeah. the f Fine, let's go. Bye. Bye. You guys know I prefer not to get involved in the rating game, but I will say this. These women will only rate themselves on their looks and never on their behavior. If a man sees this, he's going to immediately know what kind of woman she is and will do everything he can to possibly avoid her. We're not finished. I got banned from Hilton uh, Hotel because I was too much. Okay, we're Wait, finished with the podcast. Bye. There's a tease for now. <laughs> so much they're like, a hotel? get the <laughs> the bed, the mattresses are just screwed up. It was really. just soaked, yeah. <laughs> oh you wait, every time this chick comes, we got to replace a mattress. They have her Thanks. picture up at the Hilton, like, do not serve this person. <laughs> Society is getting way too comfortable with this kind of stuff, guys. This is what happens when you do away with modesty in exchange for making content in hopes that it will go viral. If we were dating, would you want a more traditional relationship or would you want to go 50-50? Honestly, it depends on what the job titles are and it depends on what the relationship is between the two people. But honestly, I'm a Christian, so I feel like traditional marriage is in the Bible where the man is the provider. She claims to be a Christian, and yet she dresses like that when going out at night. The hypocrisy these women have knows no bounds. The man must follow the religious doctrine, but she will always get a pass. But a lot of people do 50-50 and it works for them. So it honestly, it's up to the couple, well, whatever works for them. So being that you're a Christian, would you be open to dating a man who wasn't? To be honest, no, just because you have to keep in mind how they're gonna raise your kids. And that's what's really important to me. What do you think when you come to the clubs and men look at you, they go, this is a Christian God-fearing woman or she's just like the rest of them? I find it hard to believe that a traditional Christian would go to a club. She's the type of woman who wants her cake and to be able to eat it as well. I will never meet my man at a club, so I'll never meet my husband out here. I'll find my man at church. But do you come here to get attention from men or? Absolutely not. I look good regardless, so if men give me attention, that's on them, but I'm not here for ma male attention. No, absolutely not. I'm here to have fun with my friends. It's rather depressing that these women will think that they can go out, ride the carousel, get intoxicated at clubs, and live a life of debauchery, then join a church to try and find a man to take care of them. Does height matter in a guy? Yes. So we're going to judge you based on unnatural beauty. Right, Thank you, girl, for makeup. I just got here. So you can't judge guys based on height? Take it back. You wouldn't marry him? I'm going to wipe off all of my makeup right now. Or take back that height matters. <laughs> Why is it that these women get so offended when they get called out on their makeup, especially when many of them actually record themselves putting on the garbage in the first place? Daddy, he pooped his pants. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Damn. <laughs> What is wrong with this woman? She just openly tried to shame a child for no other reason except to get a few cheap laughs. But I have to admit, that kid's comeback was quick and it was brutal. What would you rate me out of 10? Well, looks. Yeah. It's not all about looks. But you don't know me, so... 
Well, I can't tell you where she's taking on a date. <laughs> <laughs> well, first appearances. What well, looks? Yeah, go on. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Wow, I'll take that. Thank you. What personality? Why can't these women just leave dudes alone? They are constantly trying to set these men up for traps and all they're trying to do is just get through their days in peace. Men have been told to leave modern women alone. The least she could do is actually return the favor. As a retired, retired. Um, I've only caught seven bodies. Seven this and year. one quarter? <laughs> Jeez Louise, guys, this girl's out here putting Josh Hart numbers. <laughs> she's talking about she's a retired. Nah, it's in you, baby. <laughs> it's in you. You know, you can't retire. And let me tell you something. Seven and one quarter. Yeah, man, you are still in the league. You're actually shining right now. You know what I'm saying? We're actually going to extend your contract. <laughs> We see these women all the time. They always say that they're retired from the carousel and that they're just looking for something better. And they always make the men they settle for pay for the sins of their past. I seen her in one video say that she was getting crushed so much. She was just trying to see how many times she can get crushed. So <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't laugh. she says she wanted to take getting smashed to a higher height. Imagine your goal in life is to see how how far can I take getting <laughs> Modern women have no shame to the point where they think having bedroom fun with as many dudes as possible is somehow some sort of accomplishment. What they fail to realize is that it's very easy to smash, but it's impossible for them to keep one single guy that they actually want. Would you rather me or Bitcoin? I'm gonna take the Bitcoin. Why you know that it's a scam? Scam, hell no, nah. it's like worth 50 grand, bro. Bro, I'm worth 50 mil, though. Look at me. You worth a cool, maybe I'd say like $25. Oh. Maybe like a... You like can't a even buy like a meal with that. No, nah, I could buy like two oh. Chick-fil-A meals with that. So it's not bad, you know. That's crazy. I love how she just says she's worth $50 million, but if she was, she wouldn't be asking random men in the street to validate her feelings. Everyone, this is my first time on the New York City subway. <laughs> we don't care. You can tell she's never ridden a subway in her life. Ask anybody who has to commute by these things and they'll tell you that making those kind of announcements are both annoying and a great way to get mugged. There is no worse feeling than your boyfriend falling asleep on you. Oh really? And here I thought that, that would actually be a good thing considering it's a sign that he's relaxed enough and trusts one enough to actually fall asleep. But do go on with this little tirade. I hope I do wake you up because you're literally the man. Ah, uh, yes. When someone uses the phrase literally, that means that everything that is to follow is going to be absolutely fantastic. Hello. I should be falling asleep first in your arms, being cradled like a baby. And why is that? Because one feels entitled to do so? On top of that, it's scary out here alone in the dark. Still scared of the dark, are we? Perhaps one should have brought a flashlight. Like, you're really just gonna leave me like that? After seeing this, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he left one altogether. It appears we can add sleep to the laundry list of things that modern women feel like they can gatekeep. She's only saying this because she wants the romantic feelings and the moments she sees in movies. She couldn't care less about this guy. Is it a red flag or green flag if a girl carries c**ts in her purse when she goes out to the club? It's a red flag. Why is it a red flag? The fact that you don't know why it's a red flag is yet another red flag. Because she's expecting to get for the night. Is that a red flag if she's willing to sleep with someone that she meets at the club? Uh, you know, it's not necessarily a green flag, but we're all people and I guess things happen. But that's not wifey. I, no, I wouldn't necessarily say that's wifey. Nope. No, it is not wifey to go to a club with the intention of finding a man for bedroom fun, which is a fairly obvious point that is lost on so many of these modern women. I 
I have to admit, that's a bit of a banger. You got to hand it to the guys on the internet for being able to recycle these viral videos into something fresh and creative. Hats off to the dude. I was born to be, and then I wouldn't be calling you a bitch. Don't, don't step outside of your zone. Stay in your zone. What's meant for you is meant for you. If you're not that that got a big that can handle five different women, and you're only a that got a, a six, a six inch, and you can only hand one, you a minute, you, you know what you are? Stay in that lane. She's a class act right there. I can't imagine why a man hasn't stepped up to marry her. A hundred percent wife material, no doubt about it. When you call that man out of his name, even if you feel righteous or you didn't, did it have a positive outcome? To the positive standard that I expected it to be positive? No. But was it positive? And it wasn't worth it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so why do women do it? If you call a man out of his name and disrespect him time and time again, he is not going to do the things that you need him to do. We do better with respect. We will do whatever a woman needs for us to do as long as she's submissive and respectful. We are willing to put our lives on the line. I'm willing to die for you, ma'am. If only you could respect me as the man that I am. But the fact of the matter is that when you want to buck up and act like you and luckily my mama taught me not to knock these girls upside the head. I can't hear the shit you saying because you sound like a boy. And I'm wondering why this beautiful woman is talking to me like she's an ugly ass. I don't see how these women can go around and openly disrespect dudes and then expect them to turn around and treat them like princesses. That behavior is literally abusive. You can sense her ego taking a hit every time she gets rejected. Props to these men humbling her for attention seeking. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disagree. This isn't humbling. This is self-preservation. A woman could record herself telling a man to hug her and then turn around and withdraw her consent two months after the fact. Avoiding touching her is the only way to avoid the trap. Do you want to see how I, as a plus size woman, comfortably fit in a seat on an airplane? I have to upgrade myself to a first class seat. Otherwise, it's intolerable. My butt still touches the sides of the seat. Here. It shouldn't have to be this way, yet here we are. Size inclusion isn't just for clothes, it's everywhere. If you ever don't fit comfortably in an airplane seat, remember, it's a problem with the airplane, not you. What? You know, I'm no scientist, but I think the problem might be you. The sense of entitlement these women have is absurd. They are literally demanding that society cater to them in every aspect of their lives, and yet they refuse to adapt to society. And on a personal note, maybe it's just me, but airplane seats are not comfortable for anybody. Yeah. Walk out so if what? you think yeah, she's a catfish. Yeah, man. All right, all right. So how many guys do you think is going to walk out today? I'm not quite a liar. Me, couple. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Guess, I'm guessing couple. Couple? Mm. So what would you rate yourself out of 10? Personality, I'm banging 20. No, no, just your looks, just your looks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll see it, I'm eight and a half, I don't know. Eight and a half? Yeah. She knows what she just said was a lie, but she's going to openly lie anyway. The numbers game has less and less to do with looks and more and more to do with delusions of grandeur, but it, that's something that they will never really understand. Okay, 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 see you later. Stay if you don't think she's a fat fish. Go if you think she's a fat fish. Crazy still. Emotional damn it! Catfishing is pointless. If you think a guy walking out on you is going to happen, what do you think is going to happen once he finds out that you've been lying to him? You might as well be honest at that point. Excuse me? Yes. You two, would you rather a hundred dollars or a date with me? <laughs> hundred dollars. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I wonder how she manages to convince herself that she's worth more than that. These men don't seem convinced at all. Thank you, babe. The search bar being fridge protect snack is crazy. A lot of these women are incredibly territorial. Once they lay claim to something, be it a man, a friend, or even a plate of food, nobody else can have it. And some of these women get possessive to an obscene degree. Okay, so a lot of you may label that as an overprotective friend. That's a jealous friend. That's what it is, okay? If you and two of your homegirls are sitting at a table and I come up and strike a conversation with you and you can tell that I'm interested and I think you're attractive, I am rejecting your friends. You can think of it that way. I'm saying no, no, like I could have picked any of you, but I picked you. How do you think they feel? I rejected them, right? So 
that's how it's interpreted. And women all, even though you guys are friends, have this weird thing to where you're like still competing and it's a beauty competition. So it kind of gets taken out on us because like you get attention and stuff. And it's not about protecting you. Because if I sent a homie over there to talk to her while I was talking to you, would she still step in? Probably not. Why? Because she's actually getting attention. So it was never about being overprotective. It was the fact that she's upset that she's not getting the same attention that you're getting. And that's why some of your friends be rooting for us. Because they're mad at us for not picking them and picking your cute. So you better correct that and let your friends know about your boundaries. Otherwise, y'all are going to stay single. I'm just saying it's a jealousy thing, not an overprotective thing. It's amazing how quickly that quote unquote friend will turn into an angry mess the second she gets rejected by a guy in favor for her friend. We see it all the time. She shows her true colors and proves the guy dodged a massive bullet. Do you accept drinks from random guys that they offer? Sometimes. Would you say that's classy? Yeah, why not? How's that classy? How is it not? Why is that not classy? I mean, you could just buy it yourself. But why would I if it's being offered to me? I think it's interesting how this woman is talking about how classy it is for a man to buy her a drink. But what she fails to realize is that it's also classy to not see men as free drink dispensers. Because he's, okay, if he's offering it to you, are you going to give him your number? No. If a, if a guy could know right off the bat, he's not going to have a chance with you. He wouldn't buy you that drink. If, if, he, had, if he had that power. True. So. But he doesn't have that power. He doesn't. That's what I'm saying. They're they're gonna be fools and just offer drinks and them not realizing they never had a chance. And yeah, shouldn't that's a, on that. And shouldn't a classy woman tell them like, no, I don't want you to drink because I know you can try and hit on me. No, that's not being classy. That's not what being classy is. A classy woman would be like, thanks for the drink. I don't owe you anything. You know what else is classy? Taking accountability for your actions. I thought it just meant classy is no, I could buy myself. Like I don't need a man to buy me a drink. I think it's rather hilarious that whenever a woman tries to quote history, she always starts it with I feel before completely botching up basic historical references. Do you know these guys? I don't know them. Is it classy for a woman to accept a drink from a guy? No, no one will say no. Uh, yeah, hell no. Why is that not classy? Because you're, uh, you're going to reject him. Then but that's not anything to do with class. I mean, you have, you it know, might be, bleepy, but it's not not classy. I mean, inside is like a character. You're not classy inside. No, I don't think that's right. Don't if a man so? is offering you a drink because he thinks that he's gonna be able to you from buying you a drink, why would I be like, no, don't buy me that drink? I'd be like, I'm not gonna accept the drink because you're being a creep to me anyway, so I deserve it. And then you can. Calling men names, judging them based on their looks, and talking about your senseless entitlements doesn't make you classy, madam. It makes you someone to avoid at all costs. So we marched on the hinge. It was first date. We went to theater. He's like, oh, Victoria, I'm going to the restroom. He went to the restroom, and after 10 minutes, he wrote me, oh, sorry, we can't be together. I'm sorry. I left. He left me alone in theater. He just said, I'm going to the toilet. I'm going to the restroom. And he never come back. <laughs> oh my God. It's even not funny. I wonder how bad the date was that my man literally had to run to the bathroom to get out of it. Well, hey, at least he texted too. But anyway, guys, we are going to be leaving today's episode there. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Drop a comment and I will see you all in the next one. Make sure you guys take care of yourselves. Peace.